Kentucky lawmakers made their opinions about impeachment very clear before the vote was taken tonight. LAX 18's Catherine Collins tells us what some of our congressmen had to say on the House floor. History will tell future generations the vote to impeach History President unfold. Trump by a majority of the House of Representatives fell almost Since exclusively along party members. lines. That was true for Kentucky's six congressmen. John Yarmuth, the only Democrat in Kentucky's congressional delegation, represents Louisville. He voted yes to both articles of impeachment after releasing this statement about President Trump on Twitter yesterday. Far from an isolated incident. These crimes are an exclamation point on his continued abuse of the presidency. The five Republicans, James Comer, Brett Guthrie, Thomas Massey, Hal Rogers, and By Andy Barr, all voted no. Far from compromising national security, the president's actions time advanced expired. national security oppose this impeachment. Lexington Congressman Andy Barr's speech before the vote was matched by a tweet he sent after the final count. He wrote, today is a sad day for our country as House Democrats voted to move forward with their hyperpartisan two and a half year plan to impeach President Trump. Kentucky lawmakers who didn't have a say in tonight's vote have also made their positions clear. In a statement, Senator Rand Paul called the impeachment unnecessary, distracting and counterproductive. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell tweeted that tomorrow morning, He'll, quote, speak about House Democrats' precedent-breaking impeachment of the President of the United States. Both Paul and McConnell will likely have much more to say when the impeachment moves to the Senate. Catherine Collins, LEX 18 News. For the latest about the impeachment, log on to LEX18.com. You can also find that information on your smartphone. Just download the free LEX 18 News app.